I think it'll have an internal and external refresh. It is a complete redesign of the front bumper. And these changes on the inside will make it feel way more premium. I think the Project Highland Model 3 will start to deploy Giga Castings in the rear, not the front. It looks like these are new wheels. There will be three new cameras in all. One in the center of the front bumper, as we discussed earlier, and two more on the sides of the vehicle. Definitely, without a doubt, the biggest change these cars have seen in their entire lifespan. The post from April 12th showed a mostly uncovered Tesla vehicle, which, aside from its slightly weird front end, definitely looks like a Model 3. From what we can see of the alleged new design, a lot of the lines have been smoothed out, leading to a thinner bumper and more Model S style headlights. I saw the supposed leak photo where they somebody pulled a cover back and it had the headlights that kind of look like uh, look like the Roadster headlights. Roadster, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I'm I'm guessing guessing that the Model Three will finally have some giga castings in it because when we interviewed sandy and i sandy interviewed elon i was there uh back in 2021 sandy asked him like hey are you gonna put some giga castings in the model 3 and he said no nah, no we're, we're we've already set the line up we're already making it mixed material body we received a model th uh three no no we had already had it and we were disappointed it didn't have the casting so I think the Project Highland Model 3 will start to deploy Giga Castings in the rear, not the front. And I believe it'll have the fourth generation drive unit. So all the costs realized from that. I think it'll have an internal and external refresh and it'll be uh, that internal and external refresh will come two to three years before a similar internal and external refresh for the Model Y. And I think Project Highland will reinvigorate Model 3 sales because if it looks fresh and new and the interior, maybe the screen gets bigger, they make the interior slightly more Model S-like with you know, increased features or a better screen or whatever. Um, that's my best guess is because it's been, what, six years since yeah, the Model six, 3 launched? Years. So it's time yeah. for a refresh. You can't make the same car for a decade. You just can't. Mm -hmm. And the Model Model S went through re, re, uh, different refreshes over time. I mean, look yeah. at the original ones with that huge grill, and now they look so much better, in my opinion. Could be bringing a big redesign, maybe more range, maybe there's some price cuts. There's almost an endless amount of possibilities on what could be coming next. And usually we don't really hear what Tesla's working on. There's always rumors and speculation, but we now have multiple credible reports from Tesla insiders and publications like Reuters that Tesla is in fact working on some major changes for the Model 3 and Model Y coming very soon, which sort of leads to this question, do you buy right now or do you wait. Now, while this may not be the total frunk to trunk redesign that many would have liked to have seen based on this alleged leaked spy shot of the Project Highland Model 3 that continues to gain credibility, this looks to be what the new Model 3 and Model Y will look like, and it's going to be a significant change. Again, maybe not a huge redesign, but is definitely, without a doubt, the biggest change these cars have seen in their entire lifespan. It is a complete redesign of the front bumper. It actually looks nothing like the OEM bumper, but does look a lot like the new S and X bumper, but even more so, it looks like the new next gen Roadster bumper. That front bumper does also look like it's taken some design cues from that Ascension bumper that you can get from Unplugged Performance. However, there's another good reason for redesigning a new front bumper. The front bumper will now house a single camera in the center arm of the lower vent area of the bumper. The rear bumper also being redesigned, although it's not clear why, we don't expect the rear camera to change position and there won't be additional cameras in the rear of the vehicle. The new rear bumper could just be a refresh of the car and it may have some cost saving measures. Updated mirrors also joining the party. We're told they will receive a mirror refresh that will look similar to the way they do today. It's not clear whether Tesla is changing them to match other areas or to streamline manufacturing, but we've been told to expect a minor change. Another huge change is gonna be the headlights. Instead of those vertical style headlights, they went with a horizontal, a lot more like the Model S and the X. 
And I can't see any fog lights in this photo, but that doesn't mean they're not there. Maybe they tuck them a little better and they're a little bit more hidden, or maybe Tesla's removing them. We have seen them remove features that they actually can see people don't really use, like the sunroof in the Model S. April 14th, Tesla Scope was given permission to post this conversation, likely in response to the leak. It confirms that the changes to the front end are as they appear, a smoothing of the bumper around the edges and Model S style headlights. But the conversation also confirms that Tesla is mostly away from in-house seats, which is a surprising move for a company that has been working to bring as much of the production loop in-house as possible for years now. At the Investor Day event, Elon even confirmed that there is a secret accessory creation team working on peripherals for the Cybertruck rather than getting an outside company to make them. But for whatever reason, it seems like Tesla is swapping out the seats in the Model 3 to ones made by another company. And just like what Tesla has been rolling out to the entire fleet, there are no ultrasonic sensors on this. I know a lot of people have been hoping those would come back. We can now say that more cameras will indeed be used in Project Highland. There will be three new cameras in all. One in the center of the front bumper, as we discussed earlier, and two more on the sides of the vehicle. The fender camera housing will now contain two cameras each, one facing backwards as it does now, while the other will point in the other direction. It's not clear how the new camera would be oriented, but we speculate they'll be aimed off to the side to give the car a better view at certain intersections. As previously reported, the repeater camera housing on the front fender appears to be changing. It now appears to include a line that goes farther back than the original. This could be part of the new design. With the new front bumper cameras and the two additional side cameras, Tesla may now have everything it needs to provide a real bird's eye view that's often seen in many vehicles. As well as the side repeater camera, so we can actually see in some of the other spy photos that Kilowatts has posted as well as some others, the side repeaters used to only be in the front fender and everything would kind of soften out and then by the time it got to the door, it wasn't indented. But now we can see the actual door has an indent for the top of the camera line. So this is definitely a different style camera, I would say, which also leads me to believe these will be the first vehicles with hardware 4 installed. Other minor details that we've seen is it looks like these are new wheels. So the Model X, actually the 22 inch wheel has little plastic caps that can go between all the little spokes. And that's what it reminds me of a lot. So perhaps they're gonna come out with a new sport wheel for Model 3 as well. Tesla is upgrading the inside of this car in a very big way with a brand new steering wheel that's going to ditch stocks, potentially two screens on the inside. They're removing the classic wood dash for a new non-woven fabric material and basically giving the inside of this car the most significant update it's ever seen. And I think that this aesthetic change alone is going to be a big enough deal for most people who are going to want to wait for this model. As much as I love my Teslas right now, there are so many of them on the road that they all sort of just blend together and look like the same old thing. This design will certainly help these new cars stand out and these changes on the inside will make it feel way more premium. We know from previous leaks that Tesla is moving towards simplifying the design of the Model 3 with specific focus on the complexity of the interior, which might point to changes like the seats and the removal of the wood trim in favor of cloth features. But also rumored that changes were coming to features like the infotainment display in the dash and updates to the camera and sensor suites. Another thing I could see them bringing down to the other Teslas is that beefed up graphics card that they put at the Model S and X. So maybe the 2024 Model 3 is gonna be able to play all your Steam games, but the older Model 3s can't. Oh no, I gotta buy a whole new car for that, right? In order to cut cost, Tesla is removing the vehicle's temperature sensor that detects the temperature outside of the vehicle. Instead of using a sensor, the vehicle would determine the exterior temperature based on its GPS location and the weather data. This could lead to more accurate temperature being displayed, as wind or other environmental factors can sometimes cause inaccuracy. However, owners will lose the ability to view the temperature in their immediate location, such as their garage. And Yan Chang said, he tweeted that starting June the 1st, which is what, only 20 days away, Tesla Shanghai factory will not allow workers to bring their cell phones into the workshop because Model 3 will begin trial production. The good thing about this is that, well, Tesla make more Model 3s 
from the factory in Shanghai than they do in any other factory in the world. So what this will mean is it won't take long. I would say probably two to three months before we start seeing these Model 3s go to external markets. But Tesla is constantly improving, constantly iterating, and sure, I'm willing to admit there are certain refreshes that are much bigger than others, but at a certain point, I think you just have to ask yourself, like, am I comfortable buying a vehicle and owning it, knowing that there may be better versions of it in the future?